But hey, like you were just talking about, right? I do like we were talking about exactly the run that Anathema made today. So real quick, uh, over Keen, Dark Wizzy, Kirby Kid, Epic Gabriel, Apollo Kage, Atata, and then everyone that we've seen them take it over in top eight here. Onan, Ned, Siski, Zamba, and now one last person in his way, MK Leo. Here we go in the grand. Game number one, MK Leo versus Anathema, and Anathema already starting off trying to get a stock on MK Leo, missing out on that down smash at the ledge. But Leo gonna go ahead and get reverse out of He's lucky he walked away. He's not gonna have been Rob stealing one early. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, and we know that Rob loves to steal things, and Anathema's not above that, right? But another really interesting fact here, AJ, is the fact that uh, this is number 50 versus number one on the North American PGR. All the way from the top to the bottom. Absolutely. Started from the bottom, and now we're here. Can he find his way into a championship bout? I mean, if, look, if you sneak one set, just one set against Leo, besides what you've already got today, that number's going to rise next season. Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, he's been making a hell of a run here today. I mean, it's not going to stop, apparently, because right now he's trying to find a way to close out this first stack. That won't be enough, but going up there trying to find another one. But, man, Ooh. we know how sneaky Leo is getting back to stage. Of course, they have to go low. Not going to be able to time that down smash. Hey, oh, excuse me, the down air but not able to time that back air either. Anti-air, though, that's going to be the first stock going to Anathema. No, it's wow. The amazing DI reaction of Leo. That was insane. Okay, goes for the down throw. Yep, going to find the up air and taking the first stock here, man. Anathema out here putting on a show. My goodness. This could have easily been looking at this early, especially after the passion that Anathema put out from that pop-off before. You could have easily started to lose some steam mentally, but it's going to end up getting the first stock on Leo. You, we have saw, however, earlier against Jared is King. This happened similarly, and Leo was able to adjust so fast. Mm -hmm. All right, ooh, tried to go for the up air there, trying to find a way to close out the stock. Then Nair will find a way to put him on the board here for game one, taking out that first stock. 11% difference, really not that much, especially when you got Mithra on the board. Exactly, and Mithra, definitely that cheating Ooh. system with that frame data, so many moves, sub 10, but you also have that boxing ability as Rob as well. You're gonna have to take this as guaranteed damage, but at, even at that, as long as you don't panic on your way back down, it's not too bad. Exactly, okay, was not able to get the gyro into their hand, which is what they were looking for, for you know, an extra ledge trapping tool. Ooh, that was a nice little play though, wasn't able to take the stock, but look at this pressure here coming up from Pyro, Tough's about to be in. Right now, yeah, this is one of the worst positions to be in, in the game. Down tilt facing you as Leo is hunting them down at the ledge. Leo looking for that up air, and that's based perfectly to beat out that Nair pretty much every time. Mm -hmm. There we go, tossing out the Gyro, trying to see if they can sneak out of stock themselves. Using Rob's own medicine against them, but no, the ledge trap, the pressure, and the forward air getting that second stock out of the way. Leo getting a hold of that pen and paper, trying to change the story that it has been Anathema's amazing run so far, putting an end of it, saying, I am the villain, I am the ice queen, I am not trying to let you have any fun. And right now, Pyra out here putting in a lot of work. It's been really difficult to oh, land against. Wow. Okay. <laughs> no, uh coming out <laughs> the play here, 89%. I mean, definitely a nice little start for Anathema, but he kind of got cheated out of that combo. Right, well, down throw, the matches have been good, and the match is still Ooh. immaculate as he gets out of there. And that time, chasing the jump, he knew Leo would jump out of there, but still not enough to get him. What? Okay, I thought I saw the gyro come out. I was like, what did he even hit him with? But man, uh, Mithra just having some of the craziest DLC privilege I've seen in a hot minute here. I was saying, paid 599 for that. But, like, but right now, trying to find a way in and not really having a really good time about it. You can't challenge him on these nares because with, and Leo's already established. Wow. He's so aggro on that. The frame trap coming through, looking for the aggressive ball off. The backer finds his mark, though. The thing is, is even though he's able to take that stock right and kind of reset the momentum a little bit, and still, like, MK Leo's Pyro going absolutely nutty here. But Anathema starting to open things up here a little bit. Okay, drops to the platform. I'm not sure what the plan that they were looking for was, but I, I mean, I, you do I, have one more chance. Definitely think, well, get out to be thinking about that in the next game, because Leo taking the first game. Anathema fell through the platform to try and catch a air dodge out of Leo to get a rising there, so you can get the follow up off the gyro toss and go for the side B or a deep edge guard. But Leo, just knowing that that's the win condition for you, that he's not going to fall for that. He doesn't fall for that at all. And Leo already strikes first, putting himself at one game in the lead. Absolutely, absolutely. But just, hey, you know, uh, actually, I want to point out another thing here, another quick little stat between these two. For So Leo, currently 8-0 in bracket today, right, or just in general. And Anathema, all tournament long, 13-1. So he has played quite a few more sets than MK Leo. So hopefully, you know, that bracket statement doesn't come into play, which can be such a deterring factor, especially coming from the loser side of bracket here. But, I mean, the way that they're playing right now, I mean, Leo is playing a little bit better, but Anathema is still very much in this. Yeah, MK Leo is inevitable. You said it earlier, and it continues to be a very consistent theme 
team for many. He's so impossible to knock out, is especially as a character who's supposed to be the slower one, the one that's easier to uh, try and pressure. Nope, because of the giant hitboxes on Pyra, it's so hard to challenge, and he's been so good at these ledge traps all day, including not letting him get away after that side beat. <laughs> you go for the down tilt to pick up the gyro and dodging the laser in the process. That's just some DLC stuff if I've ever seen it. But there we go. Oh, oh yeah, my Bach. god. That is not something that anybody has uh, fallen for today because they've all been instantly rolling out. But Anathema not prepped for it that time and Leo takes the stock. Oh, dude, I thought there was about to be an absolutely wild gyro combo out of that. I'm like, damn, dude, Leo been practicing something, that's for sure. But Anathema trying to find a way to answer back here does get a Nair to put some damage down. 123 looking for a backer to try and close this one out. But they got to deal with this damage here. 69% on the board. My goodness, yeah, Leo is feeling good right now. Going for that dash cancel reversal up till and keeping his damage. You can't challenge him on these nares. He's putting out these uh, hitboxes preemptively to win the air to air. Down tilt to up air again. Leo is going off. He's playing it exactly the same way he played against Zamba earlier. Seeing the rob, not really seeing a different target. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, but there we go. Yep, does get a bit more damage out of the way here, man. And Leo just continues to run wild, especially with this third stock. And athlon has got to find a way to slow this tempo down. Get this stock out of here, man. You got the kill power to do it. You just got to land one of those hits. It's been so difficult to find any hits. That down air doesn't really matter if it doesn't hit the mark. The whole point is to get you to panic. On your way back up, side B comes through. He's going to go for the foot school and tries to set him up on an early jump from ledge. Doesn't matter, though. Consistently getting him on these up airs. Three stock. Leo is inevitable. Yeah, I mean, he really is. He's kind of speed running these grand finals, but you know what? I mean, I can't even blame Anathema if he doesn't have the energy to, to turn this around because, I mean, he, he blew all the energy he had <laughs> with that pop-off, like, man. That was a pop-off of pop-offs. You know, you know, I know, Xbox, I know you're watching right now. You were jealous of that. Oh, yeah, that, that was, hey, that's a contender. <laughs> that, that's a worthwhile one, especially as long as you add in the footage afterwards from Udace. But for Anathema, you were able to run through many. You got through many targets, but you are now running through one of, I should not one of, the most Difficult player to defeat on a consistent basis. His defense has been on point. He's been having a hard time getting in. You have to stay composed. But right now, he's just getting chased. Everything he chooses has just been wrong. Leo is looking like he's ready to hoist that trophy. Yeah, dude. I know we've been talking about how MK Leo is an inevitable. And, you know, make all the Thanos jokes you want. But you know what? Whenever there is a new tournament for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, a major, I mean, Leo is there to, to claim whatever Infinity Stone or whatever inaugural championship for that game, man. It's just it's who he is. It's how he's built. Let's see if Anathema can be built different. Wow, okay. How right, did look. that up tilt land? Look, that, that, look, okay. Down tilt, up tilt, all that being sub 10. You're going to throw that out there and catch someone slip it. It's so good. But even there, like, be going for the promiser bolt, forcing the panic air dodge, and now that air dodge is coming through again, once again revealing that he's scared, but he went really low for that. <laughs> you take advantage of it and see if you can hold on to this lead. Hey, man, he was really searching for that one. I think he's tired. I think he wants to go home. He's like, look, man, I, I you know, I hope you guys had a great show, but... I'm tired, man. <laughs> I want this bracket to end. I mean, the way he's playing right now, he's used a lot of defensive resources. I don't really know if he's going to be able to get through that. The air dodge actually the correct call to the left, but there's that pressure again from Leo. The spot dodge through the down tilt pressure instantly to send him back off stage. Yep, okay. Anathema recovering a lot, uh, you know, really high there, and that's one of those situations you got to be very careful of because Rob getting down can be a very tricky scenario, right? Because all you got to do is kind of guess when Rob's going to throw out a Nair, potentially, and that could be a huge punish. But right now, man, Anathema starting to wake up here a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. All right. I, I just got told, like, throughout the game. But either way, hey, I mean. Hey, hey, let me talk to you real quick. Uh -uh. <laughs> nuh -uh. But Leo does find a way to answer back here, taking a stock, and now putting on some nice damage, 42% uh, to get things started. And, man, Mithra, the way that she moves, how fast she is, her frame data, Man, it's just so much building up. Look at the spacing on Leo, too. These are all, like, they, they, impossible options to choose correctly. Leo has been pressuring him nonstop. The frame trap coming through. Coming with the side B. Trying to catch him on the way back on. Luckily for Anathema, that side B didn't last that much longer, but it doesn't even matter. The F took coming in at the end. Yeah, man, this is definitely a tough spot. But you know what? I, I hate the counter player out, but with the way that Leo's playing, all, whether he's been playing all day today, I think this might be it. Now Anathema could find a way to get the stock out of here and do some Rob things. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually the eternal optimist, but at some point you start looking at some things. However, down smash comes through. He has a gyro in hand. Yep, I mean, and now it's gone. Um, All right, that looked goofy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, this, is, this has been a goofy top eight in general, let's be honest here. But that, again, that, that Nair being stuck while he's upside down, just like, oh, yeah. uh, all right, at least that time the multi hit finally came through to get the punish on the foresight. 
I mean, dude, he's really been on top of these Foresight uh, presses as well. I mean, he's definitely making them pop off here. But, I mean, Anathema's starting to make a little bit of noise, 73%. But he's oh, old question mark. Uh, and right now, okay, it gets down thrown. Now it's going to be Pyra time pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 86%. Here comes Pyra, man. We know what happens here. And that is going to be it. And MK Leo will be your inaugural Rise and Grind champion. MK Leo is. Inevitable. Inevitable. Yeah, you, I was actually going to say the you, winner, but <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have been wrong. I don't know why you doubted yourself. He, has, I just wanted to he see did if, win. I Ajax. just wanted to see if you finished my <laughs> sentence. That's all.